Part of the adventure of the Napo Cultural Center in Ecuador is how you get there. It was a 30 minute flight from Quito to Coca, where we were met by the team and brought to a secured lounge by the river. After a bathroom break and signing some waivers, we boarded a power canoe. The power canoe ride was about two hours. It was shaded and the breeze felt great. After the two hours, we stopped on the side of the river at a facility for a bathroom break, to fill water bottles, and to board the paddle canoes. The luggage was all taken on a different canoe. We went through tributaries and the wildlife and plant life was abundant. The canoe ride took hours because we were constantly stopping to photograph birds, a sloth, monkeys, and insects, and sometimes just to stop and listen to all the nature around us. For most of the ride, we didn't see any other canoes and we were alone in the jungle, which is a bit eerie when you start hearing the howler monkeys howling. Here's a short clip, so turn up the volume. We were also introduced to some of the big Amazon spiders. Just ick. Anyway, as the day started waning, the small river opened up to a big lake and there was a huge caiman swimming in the middle. So uh, no swimming in this lake. The lodge looked something like out of a movie. We docked and were shown to the rooms. Most of the rooms are on the water with beautiful views. The rooms are comfortable. Mine had multiple beds, a desk, a bathroom. Clean drinking water was provided multiple times a day. The only outlets were next to the bed. It's a slightly steep walk with stairs up to the main dining and bar area, which is in the tower. I'm not sure if there's an accessible way to get there. So if you have mobility issues, be sure to check on that before booking this lodge. The bar area was very comfortable and the food was surprisingly very good. And I say surprising because this is a really remote camp. The tower had stairs where you could go up and on each level there was a sitting area with beautiful views. I didn't actually go up until the end of the trip in the evening. Each day, we got back on the canoe for two excursions. Sometimes we got out and hiked, and sometimes we just paddled. There is a lot to see here, including the clay licks and the tree tower. We also did two night walks, which were really cool. I'm very happy I stepped way out of my comfort zone to explore Napo. The logistics were incredibly organized and well thought out. The people were friendly and very accommodating. The rooms are comfortable. If you have an adventurous spirit, Napo may just be the place for a visit. To read about some of the excursions and see some photographs, see the links in the description below.